Good day. This is John Nolan, Senior Applications Engineer at Solid Experts here in Nashua, New Hampshire. And today I have a second tech tip video for you. A little explanation of how to apply um, what would be the equivalent of DIMM styles in the old days um, to SOLIDWORKS dimensions. So SOLIDWORKS doesn't have DIMM styles per se, but it has multiple ways of formatting dimensions and stuff through the property manager. We can adjust the tolerancing, um, the precision, all that sort of stuff. So at first glance, this drawing looks pretty complete. You know, lots of uh, dimensions everywhere, two decimal places and so forth. But that's not particularly appropriate in every single case. So for instance, this interior diameter dimension or these whole dimensions in general, maybe instead of just a general tolerance. We want a bilateral tolerance on this one. And we want to be on the plus side, right? So 0 0.1 minus 0, right? Okay there. So that's fine. And maybe on some of these exterior feature dimensions, but not all of them, right, is the other way around. Perhaps we want on that one, again, bilateral, but instead, um, you know, plus 0 and minus in this case, even 0 0.25, make it a full quarter. Hmm? Okay. And I could go around and maybe control select a bunch of dimensions and apply the same sort of thing, or do that property manager over and over again. But there's a faster and, and better way. Right? So once you've got one correctly formatted the way you like, and formatting, by the way, includes a number of different aspects. Right? So if we say Format Painter, select one item, and now we select the additional items we want to have the same style or properties. So basically, in this case, we go to all the different holes. Right? We get those things. Right? And there, with just a couple of clicks, we get multiple dimensions all in the same formatting style. Right? Conversely, we can start the command by selecting the dimension first, and then select Format Painter, right? and then maybe apply it to some of these other ones, like so. If I click on the help link here, it does give you a pretty good indication of the things that can and cannot copy. So it does generally get tolerances, with the exception of fit tolerances. The tolerance is a special case for holes and holes. Um, and then it also includes things like your arrow style, your font type, your font spacing, all that sort of thing. So um, it's a nice little utility. doesn't do everything, but it does quickly speed up being able to get multiple dimensions uh, adjusted to a proper format. Thank you for your time and interest, and stay tuned for further Solid Experts Tech Tips.